For Ladies with the Pear Shape Body Shape, I hope today you're going to enjoy my summer fashion video. Briefly, I will explain what indicates whether you have a pear shaped body shape. Now, I'm a good guy because I have a pear shaped body, so I hope that I can give you some idea by showing you what I wear. One of the main indications is that you will have narrow shoulders. Your shoulders are going to be more narrow than your hips. And another indication is you're going to have a small waistline. Pear-shaped ladies are very lucky in this way. We generally have a small waistline. It's always best as much as you can to showcase your small waistline because it is your best asset. Generally, pear-shaped ladies, and I am one, will have a small to medium bust. It is a little bit unusual if you have a large bust. The other thing is you're going to be heavier on the bottom half of your body. You're going to carry your weight on your thighs, sometimes your derriere. And speaking of derriere, your butt, your bum, whatever you call it, most pear-shaped ladies have a really nice, well-rounded, defined butt. It can look really nice in a pair of jeans. Keep in mind that pear-shaped women can be along the spectrum, meaning you can be moderately pear-shaped to quite a bit pear-shaped or somewhere in between. And I often find this has got to do with how much weight you're carrying. When I'm at my ideal weight or one of my slimmest weights, I don't look quite as pear-shaped, but when I gain weight, it tends to go on the bottom half of my body and my legs tend to get a lot heavier. When it comes to styling, the idea for all body shapes is to appear as if we have an hourglass figure. Now, in actuality, it's only a very small percentage of women that do have an hourglass figure. I think it's 10% or less. It's actually quite a small percentage of women that do have this perfect hourglass figure. Most of us do not. But what we're trying to do is look more so like we do because an hourglass figure is more balanced and in proportion. For this summer wardrobe, I'll simply start with what I have on. This beautiful white lace cotton blouse has quite a bit of texture to it. Because pear-shaped ladies tend to be small up the top and small busted, we can wear textured clothing up the top. The other advantageous aspect of this lovely white blouse that I have on is it has puff sleeves. They are slightly gathered here on the seam on the shoulders and these puff sleeves will extend my shoulders out and make me appear to have wider shoulders than what I really have. And another thing I've done with this blouse is I've tucked the blouse in. And by tucking this blouse in, you'll see that I have defined my waistline a lot more than if I just had the blouse, oops, stuck there, I had the blouse tucked over like this. It looks fine like this, but it does look a little bit boxy. And boxy styles are one style that pear-shaped ladies should steer away from because a boxy look will not define your waistline. These really lovely jade green straight leg, so it's a soft linen fabric pants with side pockets. Now there's two things about these pants that are flattering for someone with a pear shape. They're a little bit long for me, so I'm wearing a heel with them. They would need to be taken up, I'm petite. Two things about the pants that are really flattering is they are high-waisted. And high-waisted pants and high-waisted skirts look really great on pear-shaped ladies. But you have to be careful they're not too high-waisted. If you have a really short torso, don't wear them too high-waisted. That's another topic, of course. And the other thing is they are a straight leg. And these ones are a little bit of a wider straight leg. I chose the beautiful jade colour to demonstrate to you that if you're going to wear a colour on the bottom, make it a darker shade. And that's one of the things to keep in mind always when you're dressing with your separates. And it doesn't have to be super dark. It doesn't have to always be black. It definitely doesn't have to always be black because that gets a bit dull. And there are some absolutely beautiful colors for trousers and skirts and you can wear them, but tend to go for the darker shades. Throughout the video, you're going to see me in outfits where I'm wearing a off the shoulder top or a boat neck top because these I feel are the most flattering for all pear-shaped ladies. Now, a lot of pear-shaped ladies don't like to wear completely off the shoulder because of bra issues, and perhaps they just don't really like that style. Other necklines that are flattering are square necklines, sweetheart necklines, and a low scooped neckline. V-necks are really popular with lots of fashion. Yes, you can wear V-neck lines because none of this is hard and fast. And also crew necklines like this. Here I'm wearing an off-white dark navy stripe 
knitted top. It's quite fitted and it sits just out on the edge of the shoulders. But as you can see, the neckline is drawing out my shoulders and this is what we want. And I have it paired up with this absolutely beautiful skirt. It's a satin A-line skirt. Now this one is only slightly A-line, but A-line skirts are the way to go when you're pear shaped. As I said, the beautiful teal skirt is only slightly A-line, but I'm only moderately pear shaped at the moment. If you're more so pear shaped, go for a more A-line shaped skirt, like this absolutely beautiful, rust colored one with the frill on the bottom and has embroidery on it. It's a boho skirt. It's made from silk. It's absolutely beautiful. I've paired up the rust skirt with the cream off the shoulder top that has a little bit of a design and a little bit of bulk here across the top where it's folding over. Here I have on a dark teal pleated skirt with a silk belt. Some stylists say that women that are pear shaped should steer away from pleated skirts. I think that we can wear them because they are actually A-line and if they're not falling out too voluminous, if the pleats aren't too wide, and as I said, keeping the color on the bottom darker is also very helpful. I'm wearing the dark teal pleated skirt with a variety of tops. This is the kind of skirt that you would get a lot of wear out of in your wardrobe. It's very easy to team this skirt up with lots of different tops. And the first one is this beautiful fine knit wheat colored. It's made from a fine wool. It's from Forever New in Australia. I love that label Forever New. Some people think it's a young women's label, but it definitely isn't. And as you can see, it has a boat neck neckline, and this is what we need to find. We need to find several tops with that boat neck neckline. And this gorgeous, really stark white spandex top, it has a boat neckline. It's kind of has a scoop in the front though as well. What I really love about this particular top is the ruching down the sides, giving extra design to it. And the last one is a simple off the shoulder cotton jersey black top. Now, I did say that normally you should try and wear your darker colors on the bottom. Sometimes we want to wear a black top and black and green looks great together. What I've done is intentionally worn an off the shoulder black top to go with the pleated skirt. This way, the darker color up the top is balancing out my silhouette so I don't look so bottom heavy. For ladies with a pear-shaped body, you can wear your prints with your blouses and your tops. That print is going to draw the eye up to the top half of your body. Particularly if you like this outfit, you're wearing a monochromatic outfit. There's two things happening with this lovely blouse that I have on that is flattering for pear-shaped ladies, and one is the puff sleeves. And this particular peasant looking style blouse is very flattering because it's sitting right out here as well. It's also elongating my shoulders, it's making them look wider. The neckline here is all gathered along here, so it's adding a little bit more volume here on the top of the blouse as well. I'm wearing a printed blouse with a pair of linen straight leg pants that have the same color tone. We're going monochromatic. And monochromatic for all ladies is more slimming. It doesn't matter what body shape you are. You'll always look more slim in monochromatic outfits and you'll also look taller in a monochromatic outfit. The particular dress that I'm wearing right now is called a fit and flare dress. And the reason it's called a fit and flare dress is it tapers in at the waist and it skims over the hips onto an A-line skirt. Now this dress is absolutely the perfect style for a lady that has a pear-shaped body. Cinching in at the waist is accentuating your small waistline. This is what all pear-shaped ladies need to do because their small waist is their best asset. The other feature of this dress, which is flattering for ladies that are pear-shaped, is it has a boat neck neckline. Another great feature of this particular dress is it has ruching here on the side of the waist. So it's putting gathers across my tummy, which is really great for concealing a little few lumps and bumps there. It's giving more definition here at the waistline with that ruching. If you're looking for the perfect evening LBD cocktail party event dress, it's really hard to go past a fit and flare if you're pear shaped. This is a beautiful cotton lace dress by the label called Susanda. I really love the way they haven't lined the bodice here in the sleeve, so they're a little bit see-through, and I think that gives just quite a bit of extra style to the dress, and it's fitting perfectly on my waist. This is a really great length if you're petite. It's just below my knee, and actually can be quite difficult to find 
cocktail dresses, evening dresses in this particular length, on the knee or just below the knee, because most of them are maxis or midis these days, or minis for younger women. This is a kind of evening LBD you would have in your wardrobe for years. It's not going to date, it's a timeless style. When it comes to wearing trousers or jeans, one of the best styles you can wear is a boot cut. I absolutely love boot cut. I think they make all women look slimmer and taller, not just women with a pear-shaped body. And this time I've got a pair of black vegan ones on and they come from Forever New as well. For stepping out for evening, I put the pants back with a denim blue. It's a mesh fabric off the shoulder top. And for the boot cut jeans, I have a variety of tops to wear with them. So once again, I have a lace blouse on with puff sleeves, actually more puffy than this one. And it's got that texture of the lace as well, which is quite flattering for pear shape. And for a little bit more of a dressy look, I've put on a white satin and it's an asymmetrical with the sleeves. They've got one full sleeve. It's got one full sleeve and one short sleeve. Asymmetrical tops, which are very much on trend at the moment, are really good for pear shaped ladies because they draw the eye up. There's a lot of interest going on in that top. And that's exactly what we want to do with we want to wear tops that have more detail going on, a brighter colour, a stronger colour, a lighter colour. We want textures, we want florals, we want sleeves with a bit of drama with them. All of this is going to draw the eye to the top half of your body. The popular trouser for everyone at the moment is a wide leg trouser. These navy linen wide leg pants, I have them on with a really interesting cut out top and I still really like the cut out tops. In fact, I'm seeing them more than ever, particularly with this one like the cut out here in the front. I have the navy pants on with this light khaki or light army green color if you like. And it has the, the cut out here across the top. I really like this cut out. It does have a crew neck, but it is a thick ribbed. The ribbing on this is quite wide. And once again, that thick ribbing or the wide ribbing, I should say, is adding texture. With the vegan boot cut jeans where I'm wearing a crossover teal stretch cotton top, I've also put on this blazer. It's a collarless blazer, a lovely navy collarless blazer. Once again, Forever New is the label. Now, what I really love about this is it has darts here at the back. So it's giving some shape and definition to this. And this is what we want because we want to steer away from boxy. This is a really good length for pear shaped women and is not oversized. Oversized isn't always flattering for us. We have to be a bit more discerning how we wear our oversized look, how we wear our oversized blazers, our shirts, um, our sweaters. The other thing about this blazer that is really advantageous if you are pear shaped, it has small shoulder pads here on the shoulders. A lot of the blazers these days have little shoulder pads in them, not great big bulky ones, but just small ones. And every bit helps. This also helps to draw your shoulders out. So always check out and see if they've got shoulder pads in them. This really lovely sky blue blazer is from Atmos in here. Atmos in here I buy from The Iconic. Most of this fashion today comes from The Iconic, the online Australian store. This is a long blazer, but I wouldn't call it an oversized blazer. These panels in the back are giving it a little bit of definition. So it's a little bit more fitted than a regular oversized blazer. Always look for panels. These panels are going to be really helpful for you because once again, they're gonna help draw in the waistline and showcase your waistline. The way I've chosen to wear this particular blazer that would suit pear shaped ladies is in a monochromatic way. So I've teamed up the blazer with a scoop necked ice blue tank top from witchery in australia i'm wearing the tank top and the blazer with a pair of dark wash dark wash keep that in mind dark wash straight leg relaxed jeans so i'm all in blue hence monochromatic this really lovely white satin blouse that i have on has shirring actually it has elastic shirring here down the side which is giving it a little bit of definition here in the waist and it's a fitted shirt and this is what I wanted to show you. Stuff that you can't wear more relaxed shirts because I do. I wear some of my shirts quite relaxed. I don't wear oversized shirts though, um, mostly because I'm petite, but also I'm pear shaped, so I'm small up the top. It is better to wear fitted or semi fitted shirts. And being a satin, a shiny fabric, it's going to catch your eye. So once again, it's going to draw the eye up. I'm pairing the satin shirt up with a pair of slightly boot cut
black pants. These pants are from Forecast in Australia. Forecast is one of my favorite fashion labels and they make fantastic fitting trousers. And Forecast, which you can buy from their own online store, but I bought these from the Iconic the Australian Fashion Online Store. Forecast make a gorgeous range of blazers as well, and they make blazers that are fantastic for one, petite women, and also pear-shaped ladies, because they have the darts in the back, they're not oversized, and they have shoulder pads as well. Not only does it have the back darts, it has darts here in the front, which is making it more fitted. I think the more fitted blazers are more flattering for pear-shaped ladies. Such a cute polka dot dress with this zigzag braid here across the bodice and also for the straps it has shirring in the back. It ticks a lot of boxes. It has the square neckline. It has the A-line skirt. It actually does sit on the waist, so it's showcasing the waist once again, but it has a lovely A-line fluid skirt to it. So this is a perfect summer dress style. And the Kelly Green Maxi with the one shoulder and the nice tie up there on the shoulder. That one shoulder, that asymmetrical look up the top. The dress is lovely and fitted in the bodice, sits on the waist with an A-line maxi skirt. Once again, a great style if you're pear-shaped.